it started off with art first mm-hmm. after that it kind of i after finishing my art course I, um i went to an all boys school basically oh, see. it was an art school at the time i think now they've changed it but um after finishing it's year 11 right yeah where did you grow up so i grew up in i was fortunate enough to grow up in the caribbean once right where i'm from Ah, I see. Went to school there first, and then I grew up in America with my grandma. So like mm. a time, went to school there, and then I moved over to the UK, and then um, yeah, went to school here. I see. Yeah, traveled. But, yeah, tra- kind of traveled everywhere, which is kind of cool. So I was like exposed to like different cultures and stuff. Mm-hmm. Which, kind of cool but um I started off with art my favorite my love was with art first I used to love painting and um I was like you know what I want to do more like I love painting but I, I used to always rip my own jeans and thought my jeans were like the sickest thing and then I, like, <laughs> I want to know like more about this and I had this aunt who was like to me anyway she was like an amazing fashion designer because she knew how to mm-hmm. make like my uncle, like, look at this mannequin right here, and she produces produce the same mannequin. And I was just like, like that. That's like that's just by looking at it, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, this is crazy. And she used to make like all my family like dresses and skirts and all this stuff. And I was like, what? Like, I, I want to learn how to do this. So then she would always like tell me come over and I'll help her like do one off little stuff. And then after finishing school, I was like, yeah, I want to be a designer. And then I'm still want to be a designer now, but I feel like I'm. Gonna, Constructor. I wouldn't say I'm a designer anymore. I would say I'm more of a fashion constructor. I want to be able okay. to make that whatever I make. I want to be able to make tables. I want to make chairs at some point. You know, I want to make like furniture for my home, bed, mm-hmm. bed frames at some point, not just specifically clothes and bags. Okay. okay. So what's the main difference between a constructor and a designer? I feel like when people say designer, automatically they think clothes. Mm-hmm. They think, or bags. <clears throat> For me, I want to like start change the narrative of that. I don't just want to make clothes. I want to make earrings that you've never seen before that's made out of like some weird shit. I want to make like a table. I want to make, this is, um. let me think. I'm trying to find something. Uh, glasses cases, let's say, I want to make that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I do like your glasses, by the way. I didn't even say. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, just, I just want to make like so much, like so much stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm on a, the Cord Rainer's bags and accessory course. Ah, oh, see, okay. Yeah. So, um, originally I started for fashion design, and then mm-hmm. I applied for uni, and um, it's so crazy because I always knew I was going to come to this uni. But I'm guessing you go to UAL too, right? Yeah, I'm at um, CSM. CSM. Yeah. It's crazy because I applied for there, I got in. I can't mm. remember what course I got. It was, a, it was a fashion design course. And then I was like, LCF accepted me for bags and accessories. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I know how to make but clothes already. I want to be an international designer or constructor. Yeah. It would be cool to know how to make bags. And oh, I, love, I like leather. So I was like, okay, I don't really know how to use leather. And on this course, I know I'm going to be using like leather and there's machines to like use that stuff and everything. So I was like, okay, I think this is the route for me. So go Are you enjoying it? Um, honestly, I am because I feel like I've learned so much stuff on like how to manipulate leather and just like so much shit I've learned from there, like pattern constructing to like, there's a, I feel like with making bags, it's easier to make clothes. There's a lot of cheating that goes on with bags that you, a lot of people don't know about. Mm. Like, I guarantee you, if you open out, if you get have a, if you buy an expensive ass bag, right, and you open it, like if if you rip it apart and you look inside, yeah, you, like it's everything is just kind of like everywhere, like it's crazy. You can cheat so much. It's like once the outside looks good and the inside part of the lining, once it looks cute, no, no one's gonna care about like where threads are hanging and this part looks messy. There's glue everywhere and stuff. It's it's crazy. That's really my work to be fair at uni. The inside's a mess, but I just make it look pretty. And everyone's like, oh, amazing. I'm like, <laughs> I was going to say, like, I'm sure, I'm guaranteed, the bag that you have on your wall, like the green one, uh-huh. like, you, if you rip out the lining, did you're going to see glue everywhere. You're going to see threads hanging off places. And it's crazy. <laughs> I'm not saying that I want to do that, but yeah. You can just Yeah, no, I can understand. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Mm-hmm. And it's going to be like 10 a.m. And 10 a.m.? I mean like 3 a.m. And I'm just going to be here with these guys. <laughs> It's crazy, honestly. Like when I ripped out, when I ripped open, I think I had like a Hugo Boss bag, and like I ripped it out. Oh my god, I might get done for this, but sorry, Hugo Boss, I love you. But yeah, if you rip it out and you like, you just see like glues everywhere. But it's just like how it's just a bag. It's just like this. It's like you can make stuff easily. Well, that's fair enough. Mm-hmm. I have to look into that. Watch me watch some YouTube videos at like two AM, like how bags are constructed <laughs> after this. It cheats so much. Like if one of the thread is hanging off, like it's all cool. You can just like put the lining there and like everything is just hidden. Ah, I see, I see. Why was the first place that you like interned? Okay, so the first place I interned was with Moa, Lola. Um, mm-hmm. It was so cool. Um, I think I needed that because mm. it opened up my eyes to like creating so much more things. Um, and then after that, sorry, my brother's calling me. I just turn this off. Um, sure, if you need to go, it's cool. No, 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 it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, so that was my first place interning. Um, second place, I was working with Ib Kamara. Um, I was helping him with, like, producing accessories or he would, like, bring me on to, like, small projects that would be beneficial to me that would help mm-hmm. me in terms of, like, accessory and constructing ways. Um, and then after that, I went with Asai for, like, a little bit, stayed there for, like, but then COVID happened and then that kind of like ruined everything, so. I see, even about, how do you like balance that with uni? Um, Honestly, I don't know. I'm going to be so honest with you. <laughs> balance it. But I just feel like if you're a designer, if you're a creative and you want to intern, I feel like I've always been a person who wants to learn. Mm-hmm. I've always been a person who, um, I've always wanted feedback or like just someone to just be like, no, this is shit, do more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you feel like you've got that from your internships? Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. I feel like with Moa, she gave me like so much freedom, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my god, please just tell me like, like give me like some kind of base. But mm-hmm. it was just like, Devante, just do, do what you want to do. But then I feel like I needed that now because like looking back at it, like when I'm producing my own stuff, it's like I'm, I need to do it for me. I don't need to do it for like you know other people are like you know get the people get into my head and stuff yeah how's your own stuff going how's that um it's going pretty well uh i would love to show you but i just feel like i, I want to wait a little top bit. secret you know i i mean no it's okay it's okay yeah I just you see you almost got me there but honestly <laughs> he's just sitting on a cushion i'm very i'm very happy about the stuff that i'm doing right now i feel like like i've made some stuff in the past and like on my instagram i've archived so many things because i just feel like when I put out something, I just want it to just be something that I'm really proud of and something that I've not enjoyed making, but like it just means a lot to me. I hate putting out, not seeing people put out stuff on Instagram, but I just like people always posting and stuff. And I'm just like, I don't want to do that. When I put out something, I want it to be like, I want it to hold weight and you can be like, okay, who made this? Why did he make this? Do you know what I mean? Not just someone, oh, this is cute. This is cute. I don't want that. Yeah, I think I struggle with that as well. I think that's probably my biggest weakness. I'm such a perfectionist that I I just don't upload yeah. anything. <laughs> yeah, I just when I when I put out my collect, well, this is my first. I put out stuff before, mm-hmm. like I put out like, this. I made like this sweatsuit stuff, where I was making um like dresses and cut out dresses and like um what else? What's that? Just like super short dresses and stuff. And I was just like. The only reason why I used the fabrics I used, was, which was um, sweatshirts, like jersey sweatshirt stuff, was mm-hmm. because um, I didn't have enough time to actually get the fabric that I wanted to use. Ah, I see. So then I was posting about it, and then I feel like it kind of made noise to myself, but I just, I wasn't proud of it. It was because I knew my, I knew to, to my heart, I was like, yeah, this isn't, I just made this quickly to just pass my grade. Yeah. And luckily I did, and luckily I got into uni, but it's not something that I'm like, yeah this is what people should remember you remind um, like remind remember me from creating do you know what i mean mm-hmm. do you feel like your work now represents that ethos definitely i feel like my work now is definitely like to me anyway personally to me i feel like this is the best shit i've ever made in my life like that's good and i feel like it's taking up a lot out of me because like i said to you i'm on a bags course bags course right now right mm, yeah I'm, I'm only supposed to be making bags right now but I'm also, but I'm, I said to myself, I'm making, like I said to you, I want to be, I want to um, be a fashion constructor. 
I'm producing an eight look collection alongside with the bags that I'm making. Is that kind of? Oh, for your uni project. Exactly, but for, oh, uni, I see. for uni, I'm also supposed to be creating bags. That's all I should be focusing on right now. Have you done that? I mean, I am, but so I'm, I'm making my collection. Like I said to myself, I'm gonna put out an eight look collection and bags. I'm not just gonna put out bags. I don't wanna, just, everyone's putting out just one thing. I wanna put out a collection with bags. Yeah. Know? So it's like it's giving myself more stress. Every day I wake up, I'm like, oh my God, what am I doing? But yeah, I, I wanna do it, you know? Sorry, apologies for my dog barking. I swear, every single Zoom, it rough, rough. As soon as it's done, silence. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. No, but honestly, it's just like, I wanna, um, I feel like this is the best piece of work I'm gonna put out. You know, Ever. there's more stuff that I'm gonna put out, but. I feel like this is the, as the first thing officially that I want to put out this stuff. I feel like it's definitely going to mean a lot to me because it's more, it's more to do about my feelings and how I felt and stuff I've dealt with in the past. And that's kind of what I'm basing everything off. So yeah, very personal. When do you plan to show it? To, um, yeah. I put out everything in May, June times. Okay. So, yeah, so that's the times I'm aiming to put it up. So, how have you been like dealing with Corona and all this trying to sort it still? Honestly, this year. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was called my dad just called me as well at the same time. Oh, oh, both. <laughs> so sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> oh, coronavirus. Oh, corona, oh, corona. corona. <laughs> yeah, cool. Um, so, how have been dealing with it? I think this year, um, I've, been doing, I've been okay, because I feel like I can, if you, you can put me in like a, a, like a one-bedroom square box, once I have everything that I need to use to create a collection of makes shit, but I can do it, you know? Mm. I feel like this for this time, these times, I've just been, I've just been using the time to just reflect and just look at my life as a whole and just looking at the experiences that I've been through and just connecting with family. Cause there's, I have, I have a really big family, mm -hmm. really, really big family. So it's just like, I've just been trying to like connect with them and just call them and just, how are you doing? You know, like, I want to come see you. And cause my dad lives in um, America. Oh, I see. Really during the coronavirus times, I can still travel um, yeah. to go see them. So that's what I've been doing pretty much, just going to see my family, connecting with my brothers and sisters, you know, so. How many siblings do you have? So I have uh, two brothers, no, I'm like three brothers, sorry, and three sisters, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. And I have loads of cousins, hella aunties, hella uncles. Yeah, I have like great great aunties, great aunts, like yeah. So, I might one of them ones. <laughs> ones. Exactly. Exactly. Fair enough. Do they like support your career? Because I know a lot of definitely. Um, yeah. everyone pretty much supports me. My mom is like a, one of my biggest supporters. It's crazy because I soon I can like literally post one thing on Instagram and sometimes she'd be in the comments like, that's my son. And I'm like, oh <laughs> really stop you know what i mean but it's just yeah she's always like on her face i don't have facebook anymore but mm -hmm. like she'd be on her facebook and she'd be like my son's doing this and then no, 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 no. like it could be literally like the smallest thing and my mom would like hype it up so much but i love her for that but yeah Definitely. no that's good though <laughs> do you make everything yourself or do you have support definitely yeah. make everything myself um but right now i have like an assistant who's like amazing she's been helping me just bring stuff to life and I have like one intern who's like helping me with stuff as well which I appreciate mm -hmm. but a lot of the stuff is just like I know what I want it's just mm -hmm. help just producing them because I'm doing like the bags I'm doing essays I'm on top of that I'm still working for like other brands just to help them get their brand where it needs to be and then still my collection it's just like a lot of stuff and then I have mentorship so it's like I have all these things just all in my head so that's my, I thought my life is busy right now. <laughs> yeah, honestly, my life is pretty much crazy as hell right now. But it's the first time I've ever experienced this. 
Mm. So it just feels, but it's crazy because I always knew to myself I wanted this. Yeah. And it's just now it's just time to like to just plan out everything and just be headly about it. You know, like it's coronavirus time. Everyone's at home, so it's like, what else could you be doing? Exactly. Everyone should be at home focusing on their crafts and just building themselves to get what they need to get. You know, that's how I feel. I feel like there's no excuse. I feel like honestly, like you have all this time. I've had. Since like last year, I've been planning this collection. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even though, yeah, I may not have like finished stuff yet or like even started making stuff yet, but I just feel like you have all this time to let you just like reflect and just, you know, see things for a bigger picture and just like get yourself out there if you want to do that anyway. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. In that red um, in the background, mm-hmm. did you make that? The yeah, white yeah. stuff on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see? Yeah, yeah I can. Yeah, I'm <laughs> looking at the time. Yeah. Play around with my friend the other day. Um, because I'm. This is actually one of a piece that I'm actually trying to. It's not the same piece, but I was just playing around a little bit because the stuff that I'm actually making is kind of inspired by this. But um, yeah, just playing around with it. It's not. I don't feel like it's not strong. Like it's not really. I think it's shit. shit you know, but. No, sense. as to the aesthetic, but it's cute. Yeah, <laughs> it's, not, it's, yeah. it's, it's all right. I mean, it's all right, you know. But stuff, even like stuff like this, I'd be like, oh, this is trash. Like, and then onto the next thing, you know. But yeah, yeah, that's it. I struggle with that because obviously, like, I'm looking at that one. Oh, I look sick. But you're just like, Bleh. yeah. So I, I have to like, yeah. find that balance. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. If you're looking back at like how far you've come so far what would you say like oh you should have done this at this point mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna sound cocky saying this but I honestly don't regret anything I'm happy that everything happened the way it happened and I feel like it happened for a reason I'm mm-hmm. I'm a spiritual person so mm-hmm. it's like I like to manifest things I like to pray a lot um so it's, I just feel like if it happened to you I feel like it happened to you for a reason it's literally just up to you to just figure yourself out and be like okay why did this happen to me and just like keep it pushing I remember I I saw like a post like last year and it was like if you've dealt with anything that's like bad or anything it says you should allow the pain to enter your and like enter allow the pain to teach you and allow the pain to like push you to like go Mm -hmm. and ever since ever since seeing that I was just like definitely like I'm happy of everything everything that happened to me good or bad I'm proud of it I'm happy of it I own it it's just now, it's just literally up to me now to just use that to get where I need to go. Because it's very easy to just, like, as soon as something happens to you, it's very easy to just sit and sulk, you know? Mm-hmm. Very easy to be, like, angry and be upset about stuff. But no one really teaches you how to just get up from that pain and actually, like, push yourself to be the best person you need to be. And no one's ever going to teach you that. It's literally just down to you and your mind, just playing games with you. That's how I see it. Oh, that's fair enough. That's how I see it. How do you see it? See, I'm, I'm interviewing you, and you interview me. I'm, <laughs> no, no, I see. What, what would I see? Yeah, how would you, yeah. How would you see it? Like, do you do you think like things that happen to you shouldn't happen to you? Do you feel like it happened to you for a reason? No, I think obviously everything happens for a reason, but I do feel like we still have some form of responsibility for like our actions I, I think yeah. I can go back and yeah. say like I shouldn't have done that that's why I'm in this crap situation sure, yeah. um but then obviously there's a reason why I made a mistake because I wouldn't be where I'm going if I didn't know that was wrong exactly sometimes um, not even no God, sorry God, I'm cutting more no no I was finished I was finished oh I was just gonna say that so obviously sometimes like people may do things or you may do things that like maybe after you do it it's like oh shit I shouldn't have done that but it's just like that's the purpose of life, I think. Like, yeah. Life, you go through shit, you deal with shit. It's just looking back, learning from what you, what happened to you, and you just move forward. That's all. Like, you can be angry, but like, I could be mad for a little twelve hours, you know, little, little twelve hours, and I'd be like, all right, cool, next. Like, I'm happy now. Like, I'm over it. You know. That's good. No, that's good. Like, you're pushing, you know. Time is mm-hmm. money. It's like the time you're over here being mad about something or like angry at yourself or something, someone else is like, keep on, like someone else is like moving, you know, that's how I see it. It's like, either you want to sit and be angry about it or be sad about it, or you want to be like, you know what? All right, let me go do what I need to do. No, that's fully it. That's fully it. 
and it's all about growth. That's how I see it. Mm. I don't even ask any of the questions I've written down, but that's, I don't even need these questions. <laughs> I don't even need those questions. Um, mm -hmm. No, I think we summarised it all perfectly, to be fair. Like, yeah. obviously, like, obviously from students, we're like, oh, how to get an internship, how to do this, yeah. this, this, and this. But as you said, it's just like, you just have to go with it. You just go I with the flow. Go, well, I mean, I can give, wait, one second. Sorry, I'm just going to step up. The thing no, it's calm, it's calm. Um, in terms of obviously applying for internships and everything, you know, like, it's an internship, you know? Everyone goes through shit, you know? It's an mm. internship. Some designers are trash, some designers, some creators are amazing. It's just honestly wherever you go. But my advice to if you go somewhere and they've like treated you badly or whatever, I just like you should don't linger on it, you know, don't just sit and dwell on it because the more you do that, you're just gonna be wasting time to produce what you want to produce. Mm -hmm. Like for me, for before my internships, I went, I worked with everyone that the reason why I worked with everyone by who I wanted to work with was because I wanted to learn. I went there to learn, like, not for them, not for them to, not them, like, I didn't expect anyone to be like, oh, this is what you should be doing. I went there because I was like, you know what? I'm going to take in everything from each of these people and apply it to my own self because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm here for a reason. They accepted me for a reason, you know? And I feel like people shouldn't feel discouraged about not getting internships either because, <clears throat> It's like, if you don't get it, there's like meal, there's like a thousand places you can apply for. I exactly. think sometimes with a lot of the people that I know, a lot of people that I know um, applied for like bigger houses, like Balenciaga and all these big people, but it's like, you don't have to like, you don't have to go to um, those big places. You can literally apply for like emerging designers. Cause honestly, I feel like you learn more from them. Yeah. Cause like they're new and they're fresh and they're growing. As a creative, you'd want to learn from that, you know? Do you feel like internships should be paid or do you think working for free is good? Um, honestly, it depends. Cause like, I feel like obviously all internships should be paid. I mm. mean, want to be paid, you know? Like everyone wants to be paid, but also as someone who's starting out and obviously if I'm not, if I don't have money, Sorry about that, I'm broken. Um, <laughs> cool. If I don't have money, it's like, how am I going to pay you? But obviously I need help. So sometimes you do meet the people that were like, like people who want to help me and stuff. And I'd be like, you know, I'm sorry, I can't pay you. Or if I can't pay, they'll be like, no, but I still want to learn from you. And I feel like that's where it comes into play. Like that's the most important thing, personally, I think. Obviously, yeah. like, no one should take the piss of you. Like don't just like go and work for free and like do a whole ton of shit for like, you know, for free. But I feel like if your employer is um, accommodating at least something and you both have that relationship where you can speak about stuff and you both come to an agreement, I feel like it's cool. Do you feel like they're like imperative to have a successful fashion career mm -hmm. internships? Honestly, I think, yeah. I feel like everyone deserves it, has to have an internship and everyone deserves to go through something for an internship. That's honestly how I feel. Cause I feel like it's the fashion industry, you know, like this is like a big field, you know, there's mm -hmm. always at least one person that's gonna like fuck up your shit, you know, True. not fuck up your whole shit, but like there's gonna be one person that's gonna like take the piss, you know? Yeah. And I feel like as a designer or as a creative, you need that because it's like, it's gonna prepare you for like when you start your own stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause then, it will just, be, at least you'd be like, be familiar with like what happened to you or whatever. You'd be like, hey, you know what, this happened to me. So like, how can I go about this? People who want to work with me, how do I go about working with them? How do I portray my image to these people? Or what do I want to do? You know? Mm -hmm. Do you like, feel like, oh, sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was saying, do you feel like the unpaid internships, do you think it's like a barrier for people from like lower social economic backgrounds to not be able to get into fashion because they can't afford to work for free um honestly yes and it's very unfortunate and it's like i i feel like if especially when working for someone who has money and stuff and like you're unfortunate and you don't have money like yes it's definitely you know upsetting but i just feel like 
my aunt always said to me, um, whatever you put in, you get out, right? Mm -hmm. So money has never always like, yes, I always like, you know, I'm a young designer, you know, I'm not like a super rich person, you know? So it's like, yes, I want money. But it, money was never like the most important thing for me when I applied for internships. Mm -hmm. It may sound crazy, but it's just, it was never like the most important thing for me. What was important for me was like going to somewhere and like learning, like that's all I cared about. That's literally all I cared about. I just wanted to learn something. I didn't care about if I wasn't gonna get money. I was like, okay, cool. How can I get money though? If if I don't get money, get money from A, okay, cool. I'm gonna see if I can get money from B. Mm. And if it means yeah. like get a job, like apply for a job and try to fit in my job with the internship, I'll do that. Do you know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. never. It was never like, okay, I want to go here, but I want to get paid because I know like before you even get working for these people, sorry, like for people that I worked with. I already had an idea of like, okay, fashion, people from my friends already told me, oh, you know, certain people don't pay you. Da, da, da. I already knew all of this, you know? So I never, I never um, wanted that, especially if you're in uni, definitely utilize like hardship funds. And cause those stuff definitely helped me a lot because um, I remember one time I was like in first year mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I need money to like, you know, make some stuff, da, da, da. but um my friend was like, oh, you should apply for the hardship fund. And I was like, nah, like I'm never gonna get it. And then I applied for it and I got like a good amount of money because uni's de our uni definitely wants to help you. I feel like, I feel like you just have to just ask for it. I yeah. Feel like the University of the Arts London, like definitely, I feel like it's definitely played up. Like everyone's kind of have like an image of it, but I feel like once you ask, personally, I just feel like this. I mean, from my experiences, I feel like once you ask, like that's all they care about. They just want you to communicate with them. And then once you communicate, they will literally do everything in their power to help you. Personally, that's how I feel. No, that's sick. Um, when do you say you're graduating? So I'm graduating, uh, so um, this year, June, so. Ah, oh, okay, so yeah. Yeah. that's amazing. Um, like, I, just, I just never, Money has just never like, yuck. obviously I want, who doesn't want money? Like, you know, everybody wants money. Yeah, of course. It's just never been an important factor to me. Like I've always wanted my name to hold some sort of weight. I definitely want to, I want to go somewhere. Uh, let's say if I go to Gucci, I want to go to Gucci and they remember me because of my work. Like, mm. yes, they pay me because they can pay anyone. You know, anyone can pay anyone. But I want to make sure that when I go there, you're going to remember like, oh my gosh, like this is... The one say, yeah, he worked here. That like you're gonna remember like my impact or like what I did for you or you know. Yeah, that's, no, I hear that. That's money to me, personally. But obviously, I know some. I know some students that obviously want to go places and they want to get money and stuff. But I just feel like mm -hmm. you should change the narrative. You know, it's just like if you can't get money from this, like okay, if you want to go, let's say if you wanted to go work for, give me a brand. Give me like give me a brand. Balenciaga. Let's say if you wanted to go to Balenciaga. And Balenciaga gave you, uh, they were like, you know what? You can come here and you can literally have control of our whole studio and you can produce your collection, but obviously I can't pay you, right? Mm. Obviously someone as big as Balenciaga is kind of a shit, like, like, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? But also it's like, you have access to all this shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you think in your head like, oh, money, money, money. Like you can literally, you can go get your money. Like I'm telling you, if you, there's ways of getting, I've, me, I've always had this saying, there's always a way. And it's always lived with me. Trust me, you will get money to produce. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, you shouldn't turn down certain stuff simply because people can't pay you. Like just do it, do it. And know that your, your impact is going to be more than that. Do you know what I mean? No, I hear that hundred percent. I don't know what, I don't know. It's just something I've always believed. I just, money has just never been like an important thing for me. Like I've always needed money and I've always, you know, hoped that I get more money, but I just feel like leaving an impact is more bigger than that, personally. No, oh, that's amazing. Is there any of your work that you have out like right now that people can, you can see? Yeah. Um, honestly, everything, I'm doing right now is like I said my uh, exclusive. Mm, okay. Wait. <laughs> right. uh, okay, I can show you. Okay, wait. No, no, it's calm. It's calm. It's calm. Wait, let, me see, let me see. I'm just trying to think. Okay, I can tell you something that's exclusive. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Okay, so my mentorship that I'm doing is like really cool. 
um, I'm, my mentor is basically the head creative designer that did the sh that does footwear and accessories for Yeezy. Oh. Yeah, so that's really cool. Um, I started last week, so that's like definitely been helping me a lot. Like, she's an amazing lady. I mean, her name is Lucy Holland. Mm -hmm. Um, super amazing lady who's just been like, she just wants to see the best in me. No, I love you for like that. You know, you know, someone just like just cares about you and just wants to see you do really well. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been doing, and it's just like amazing. So I'm super excited about that. Would you ever want to? Not even teach would or a mentorship program. Is that something that you'd want to do? Um, honestly, yeah. I feel like my purpose here on in this life is to when I make it to a certain extent, which I hope to do, um, I definitely want to be able to like teach people and help people. And like I've all I've ever wanted in my life is to be a fashion constructor, being able to help my family and being able to help my friends and their family. And then obviously like people around the world and stuff but that's I feel like that's what I'm, I've been put here to do. Nice. Do you feel like you're doing that so far? Uh yeah definitely I feel like I'm definitely like, I'm definitely changing like I feel like sometimes people think they know me and they create ideas of me and stuff but I feel like when they really get to know me they were like wow okay I didn't didn't know this about you do you know what I mean? I just feel like the most important thing when it comes to like being in fashion, just never have money as just your, like, don't think money always. I feel like that's a lot of things, that's the thing that people tend to drive them off board a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like just like, yes, you should definitely be paid. Like, I'm not saying people should never be paid. People deserve to be paid. But I just feel like if you know that you're going to do this and you know that you, your impact is going to change and your impact is going to be bigger than that, then you should do it. Do you know what I mean? No, I hear that. If you can yeah. like change the narrative of like, okay, cool. If you can use it to your advantage and be like, okay, I'm going to go here, but I'm going to make sure it benefits me in the best possible way. Mm -hmm. I, may, I might sound privileged because trust me, I'm not privileged, okay? I'm not. <laughs> cool. But I just see it as a thing where you should just hope, like leave your impact on people who are not paying you. That's bigger than so much more money. You know, mm -hmm. if you're gonna go, if you're gonna go somewhere, if you're gonna work with someone that's like shit, just know that you're gonna go there and they're gonna remember who you are. Like they're never gonna forget who you are. You know? Yeah, I hear that. Well, I hear that hundred percent. Yeah, I'll just say like my biggest thing is just like whenever as a designer, as a black person as well, like mm -hmm. definitely we deserve money for sure. But I just feel like our impact is so much bigger than money. Like anyone, yeah, no, can buy, anyone can buy, give us money. Like any, that's a quick thing to do, you know? Mm -hmm. But our impact is so much more than that. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to go to someone, you're going to like leave an impact on them. Trust me, they will never forget you. That's me. That means more to me than money person, you know? That's your money. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my money. Like, because you every time, if you see me and when you see me, like, I always know, like, like I said, I'm, I'm a spiritual person, I manifest, you know? So I know and I believe that I'm gonna be bigger than what I am now at some point. And I know anyone who's ever done me wrong, they're gonna be like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Like I remember him because I didn't, da -da 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 -da, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. let, let them eat that, do you know what I mean? That's yeah. I, mean. I hear that. Is there anywhere like right now that people could buy well, not buy all your buy your stuff. Do you have anything out? Yeah, in the so right now, um, this T-shirt, uh, anyone can buy, purchase. You know, can help me out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, T-shirts is what I'm selling right now. I'm making some more. I can actually send an exclusive. I can actually show you like another quick T-shirt, quick if that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, no, that's more than okay. Um, dun, 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 let me try find it. So this is, so all this stuff here is literally just developments. Um, just trying to find like a better picture for you. This is just development stuff. Uh, wait, oh, where's the black one? Okay, wait, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, I got it, I got it. I've got oh, sick. 
like different colors. Oh, mad. How do you print them? So all I did was, so this is the image. This image actually came from, there's a picture on my Instagram where I literally put, okay, this is going to sound bad, but I put like a plastic bag over my friend's head. And I basically, the detail from him and the image, but I can show you. I basically used that as my graphics and I just um, developed it. Went to my friend and was like, hey, I'm trying to do this, da 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 da. And then he just like kind of helped me bring it to life a little bit. And then awesome. came up with this. But that's yeah. amazing. That's a, I feel like that's the amazing thing with being a creative because you can literally do anything. You can let, do something that's so personal to you and no one would ever know what it is. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Which is like the beauty in it. So I'm trying to see if I can find the image uh, quickly. Okay, yeah. So this image here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, and I just manipulated it to to get this print. But yeah, this print, this T-shirt is literally just stuff to help me like fund my collection. And um, then when I put out everything, it will be yeah, you'll see everything. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. I'm glad because obviously because of. Corona and ACS. So obviously, everyone thinks ACS motives, motives, motives. Yeah. But obviously, because of Corona, I've been to like yeah. It's that. So as you said, like everything for a reason. So obviously, if I was doing motives every week, I wouldn't get to talk to people like yeah. you all day, every day, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So no, definitely. When you reached out to me, I I love. I wanted to do this because obviously, I saw it's like for the African and Caribbean community, mm -hmm. and obviously, I'm a Caribbean person. So it's just like. I would love to, I have like Black Lives Matter tattooed on my hand, you know? So it's like <laughs> something that I actually believe in. And if this is gonna help anyone or like anyone's even gonna listen to it and it benefits them, then I hope it does. Yeah, it's my job done.